guys, it's me, Teacher Marge. So before you watch my video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment to all of my videos. Okay. Okay, welcome to my next video. My next video is all about simplifying fraction. So we have um, 6, 12. Now, you are going to find any number that can divide both sides. Okay? So this one, we can divide it by 6, both sides by 6. And you will get what? So 6 divided by 6, you will get 1. And 12 divided by 6 is 2. So, if this one is already divided only by 1, it means your answer is already simplified. Okay? When you say simplified, it becomes uh, smallest number now. So, our answer will be 1 half. Another one. We have 24 and 36. What number that can divide both sides with this number? Yes, correct. So we can use 2 if you want. Can be. So you will get 12 over um, 18. Now, we can divide it more. So how? We can use 3. So you will get what? 4, 6. Do you think is it simplified? Not yet. So I will divide it more by 2. So you will get what? 2, third so my answer is two third we have the simplest way you can combine these number in one so you will get what 24 over 36 divided by both sides by 12 and i will get what two third okay but if you don't know the numbers yet you can use this way okay Another one. Example, we have 515 over 650. Okay. So, how to simplify this number? So, you can choose the smallest uh, divisible number. So, I will use 5 first. Okay. I will use 5 both sides. And divide it. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 1 divided by 5 is 0. One, uh, 15 divided by 5 is 3 over 6 divided by 5 is 1 carry 1 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 0 so do you think is there any number left no more so that will be your answer again 400 divided by 500 what number can we divide both sides Yes, correct. So we have 100. So we can divide it both sides by 100. So you will get what? 4 fifth. So you are going to make a fraction as the smallest as possible. Next, let's try another one. We have 99 over 110. What number can divide for this? Yes, I will use 11. So what will be now? 99 divided by 11, you will get 9. 110 divided by 11, you will get 10. And that is the answer. Okay? Simplifying fraction, it's, it makes your fraction smallest number. Or smallest fraction. So... They apply in what? They apply also in four operations in fractions. Like what? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So it applies all of that. So that is what we call simplifying fractions. And I hope you understand this topic. Okay. See you to my next video. I hope you understand this. And don't forget to share, like, comment in my Facebook page or even in my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!